All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you some GHI combos. In front of you is a GHI lemon blast, kind of almost like a sunset ball python. <laughs> I think there's a really cool looking combo. I know I did a lot of stuff with the GHI and the spider last year, and honestly, not a super fan of what the GHI and the spider does together. I do like what the GHI and pinstripe does together, especially when you add a little bit of pastel. Makes the animals look really cool looking. And right here is a pinstripe GHI. So you can see how it looks when they stripe it and going down the back. And you see how it looks when you add just an extra gene, which is the pastel gene. Makes them look fairly different, in my opinion. So right here, I'll show you this one first. Right here is a Super Pastel GHI. With a little bit of stuff shed on her nose. And eye caps. But that'll be off by the end of the video. Or right now. So I just took that off. So this is a nice GHI Super Pastel. And then this is an extra gene in here. So you have you're looking at Super Pastel GHI Fire. So that's a Super Fly GHI. This is a female. This is just a gorgeous looking snake. And you kind of can see like how the Super Pastel and the Fire kind of like makes this the GHI just more banded and then it would be wacky. But that's just a, in my opinion, the coolest snake. Um, out of the group. Alright guys, let's jump in and show you some other stuff. Alright, so let me quickly show you uh, two snakes I acquired in a trade over the summer. So we're looking at uh, Soul Suckers. So Soul Sucker is Hidden Gene Warmer and Lesser. Um, but these two are fairly different. These are clutch mates. So you can see this one looks more like a um, potion type um, looking animal. Again, I'm not saying this is potion whatsoever. I know it's Soul Sucker. I'm just saying compared to this one and uh, this one, the colors are just two extremely different um, looking animals. Um, the, the camera hardly shows that uh, as you can see so what I'm thinking is this could be red spectrum which um, includes other genes in it um, so I'm thinking this has more genes in it and you can clearly see they both do have some paradox going on you can see right here and a little bit um, I know I've seen it before on this guy oh yeah and then right over here so again, this is not saying that Paradox is indicating anything at all, but I think it's cool since they're clutch mates and they have some coloring going on. I just like that. It's really interesting. But I think these are gorgeous. So uh, this one's a male and this one's a female. I'm trying to get highly into um, him and Gene Wama stuff. Um, going to Nerd so many times and seeing all his combos, you kind of need to get him and Gene Wama stuff. So the male is pretty nicely, almost looks like a peach type color um, compared to this yellow color on the back. But again, really nice looking animals. All right, here we got some bumblebee type leopard stuff. So everything here has spider and leopard in it right off the bat. Um, so right here you're looking at a pastel Mojave spider leopard. You see it by the milky creamy colors that the Mojave is influencing in here. Really nice. And this one gives me an indicator that this is lacking the Mojave but has the fire gene in it. Um, particularly on how the pattern uh, is working with this animal. So if we can get him on the ball, that'd be nice. 
So you can see all these little leopard spotting going on. So this is leopard, pastel, fire, um, pastel, leopard, fire, spider. There you go. Um, let's have a, a brain fart real quick. So that's a really cool animal. And here we just have a bumblebee leopard, which is really nice, nice clean head. And these three are all for sale, so if anyone is interested at all, please PM me. These are not expensive. I'm not selling them to be very expensive at all. Uh, these are for sale. So if anyone is interested at all, please PM me. We could definitely figure something out, work something out. I believe you're looking at all males just to give you guys a heads up. Alright guys, so this is probably the most of them I'm actually going to feel like Kevin McCurley from Nerd. Only because I'm showing you guys all some Hidden Gene Walmart combos I'm really proud of. So in front of you is a bunch of Hidden Gene Walmart stuff. I'm going to start from the right. So this is a really nice animal. This is a Hidden Gene Walmart Pastel Enchi. And this was from a 3A Clutch. And I, was managed, I managed to hit a Hidden Gene Walmart, Hidden Gene Walmart Enchi, and a Hidden Gene Walmart Pastel Enchi. So this is a nice little female that will be holding back. Right here, a really nice snake. This is a leopard yellow belly. Love that head pattern. Look at this. Look at that pattern. So clean. Really nice looking. Nice belly. So I'm really happy with that. I love what um leopard yellow belly ivory stuff does. So the leopard ivories are really what I like. Here, it's just a very unique animal. Let me sit down this tripod real quick. I'm gonna show you this guy. This one off a little bit better. So this has everything in it. This is a really, really nice uh, snake. So you're looking at hidden gene warmer, yellow belly leopard, right here in this combination. So almost looks like clown, and there's no clown in here at all. So you're looking at hidden gene warmer, yellow belly leopard, possible vanilla possible fire. I know that one of the other is in there, fire or vanilla. I can't just determine which one that is. But that's just a really cool looking animal. In my opinion, this is a really nice looking snake. Let me show off the head pad one more time. I really like that a lot. So here we have something which I like a lot too. I was really happy with this snake. This snake will probably just snap at me. This is a Infernal Fire, so it's super hot. <laughs> so this is a uh, Hidden Gene Warmer Yellow Belly Pastel Fire. That pattern is just really wicked. I'm digging that a lot, really nice looking pattern. Gorgeous looking snake. Super, super cool. And here is a really nice looking snake as well. This right here, give me a second. This right here is a um, hidden gene warmer leopard fire ding a jiggy. Now, definitely sound like Kevin. So, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, this can't find the label that I actually have this snake in because I have so many snakes moving on the table. Um, but right here is a really cool looking snake. You can see from the belly pattern. Really nice hidden gene walnut stuff. So I'm happy with what I've been producing so far this year with the hidden gene walnut stuff. I'm really looking forward to doing a lot more. Especially a few of them have had ghosts in them. So I like to bring out the ghost. Uh, including with the hidden gene walnut stuff.